Hey, what's up, folks? So today we're going to be talking about a film that will be releasing May 22nd, and that is Acacia Motel. Now, here's something um, interesting about this film. So this film is, again, releasing in America May 22nd. It has already released in the Philippines March 11th, and it's actually been uh, retitled for America uh, for the U.S. release. So again, here is uh, uh, Acacia Motel, and in the Philippines, it was originally titled Motel Acacia. So, uh, and what I actually learned from a recent interview is that um, sometimes um, um, directors or producers, whoever, decide to change the title to index the name so that it's higher and easily searchable. So, with this starting with an A, um, it's right up there on the top. So, I think that makes sense analytically when you're when you're trying to look for a new movie and you see something up top, I'm like, oh yeah. I heard that review somewhere, <laughs> maybe here. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. So, um, yeah. So this is actually from um, Bradley Lee. You, it's a monster film, and this follows a young Filipino uh, man who is uh, being groomed by his like really like tyrant of a father, uh, who doesn't really get a name in this film. So his father, um, and what they do is the two of them they own a business. Uh, it's actually a motel, sort of say, but it's, it's Hotel uh, Acacia. Um, and they're tasked in um, exterminating immigrants by the government um, with quotation marks. But OK, so first off, uh, J.C., who's the young Filipino boy played by J.C. Santos. J.C. is a huge star in the Philippines. Uh, and I, I done some searching and I've also uh, reached out to a few friends and they said, yes, he, he is a well-known name in the Philippines. So, um, you know, with that being said, um, I, it kind of made sense because I thought he did a really tremendous job um, in this film. It's the first time I've seen him, um, and obviously he's not new, new to me, but uh, like again, he's he's well known. I think he did a tremendous job as the lead. So, but um, so just to kind of groom groom this just a little bit. So JC and his father has a family business, and his father wants him to pretty much run the business or pretty much be a, a, um, a, a image of him which JC is totally against now they are hosting immigrants for the government that's really the job they're supposed to be hosting these immigrants um, and uh, I'm excuse me they're supposed to be providing shelter for immigrants however um, JC father is tasked by the government to eliminate them and JC just finds that morally and ethically wrong especially when he and some of the immigrants are from the same descent as himself. So there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, conflict of interest there, uh, more more conflict or whatever it may be. But uh, at the same time, JC's also having his own troubles with his father. Outside of that, is because he's always been looking for his father's acceptance, um, and not until his father actually calls him son in the movie for the first time that he truly. Finds that acceptance he's been looking for, but it also sends JC down a path that he could never ever imagine or explain. Uh, but with that being said, so while they are hosting uh, immigrants in this facility, it's a motel, but yet it looked like an underground bunker. So facility is what I'm gonna call it. Um, they also come to find out that they're also living with an ancient spirit. People are hearing things in the wall. Um, so weird things are happening, et cetera, et cetera. So with the combination of that, with the combination of scarce supplies, with the com with the combination of people being impatient because they're ready to go and they've been sitting there and they say, hey, we paid our money for this. We should be getting this. Um, it just heightens everything and, you know, puts everybody into survival instinct and it also puts Jay-Z Jay -Z in a predicament that he never could imagine. So that's pretty much the premise of this movie. Uh, and again, it's a horror film because everything I explained sounds like uh, not like a horror film, but it is. And I will say this, um, you know, JC is really battling the beast mentally and physically uh, because he doesn't want to become who his father is. His father is acting like a monster in himself, although there is another spirit going on. And although he tries to prevent that by all means by gaining his father's acceptance is the only i mean by by becoming his father's pretty much the only way he feels he can get his father's acceptance so that's like a thing that's happening in this so um you know the first uh, fast forward into the movie a little bit 
the the first opening scene is definitely an eyebrow raising. You're looking like, okay. <laughs> that was a, uh, here's a few words I could describe it as. That was a uh, very horrific. Uh, that was uh, very gory. And um, some may even have said gross <laughs> because the, the first opening scene is just like, okay. But uh, after that, it immediately takes the story a while to really let viewers know what's going on and the correlation to the opening scene as I just almost to a point forgot what I was watching, yet alone watching a horror film because it just felt so totally different as it progressed um, in the beginning. And maybe that's my design to maybe forget, maybe take your mind away from the fact that like, oh yeah, that happened and you did pick this genre, but also, yeah, we'll be back to that side. Maybe, maybe it's by design. It could. And if that is, I mean, hey, that's 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 totally different. Um, but once it comes across this first little... Well, once it all comes together and they, you know, the first scene, the demonic scene, the demonic big out, bed, I'll say, um, that's when I really got intrigued. That's when I was like, oh, okay. I see what's happening here. And then, again, as the film goes longer and longer the more tense it does. And there's like a sprinkle of comedy in there. But uh, it all, I mean, like the drama and the horror just escalates. Just from that point on, it just escalates. Um, another thing I want to quickly say with this film um, having majority of its cast being from Filipino descent, I absolutely in, I absolutely love and adore the fact that, um, um, that they spoke their native language in Tagalog. Uh, a very beautiful language, and I love the fact that um, that they did so with such a heavily Filipino cast, um, because I, you know, I think in, um, diversity and, and uh, representation matters. And you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen films where they've have you know casted people of other nationalities, but they spoke English, and it's just like, well, would they really? Probably not. You know what I mean? So I really did love the proper representation that was done here with the cast. Um, so, the like overall with this film, I was very, I was entertained, and uh, you know, one thing I'm really high on specifically in horror films is the human element, and what I mean by that is like how he, the humans respond to respond and react to certain situations, and I felt like in some of the scenes and, and some of the, the circumstances within the scenes, I felt like the, the human element and response from certain um, characters felt really unnatural. Um, and even with good performances by people, um, it really was hard to overlook some of that. Uh, but overall, I did love the chilling sounds and the score um, and, and also the effects. I thought they were all very, very solid. Um, but you know, overall, and like my, my last thought is really th the plot for me, um, I thought was, and, and maybe it's just me, but um, the plot, I felt like everything didn't come together in a understandable way for um, viewers, uh, and, and at least for myself, with, you know, with the JC and his father relationship thing, I quite didn't understand the resolve with that. Um, some other little things that happened in it. I just felt like when it was all said and done, the, the closing scene, I was just like, what? Like, is that it? I thought maybe more. Because <laughs> it just didn't come together in a way that I was able to understand. And that's really not to take away from the film and all. Because as far as like the, the, the horror elements and it being a horror film, I thought it nailed that. But as a complete body of work um, and, and, and film structure, I felt like the plot... Uh, was just a little bit uh, open-ended, I'll say, in the sense that I wasn't able to really understand um, the resolve of everything. But again, um, Acacia Motel, have I been saying hotel? Motel, if I haven't. Um, if I have, I mean, uh, comes out May 22nd, Video Demand, and all your Video Demand platforms. Um, you're a horror fan, definitely check this out. Uh, now, if you're just curious and if you see it on top of your uh, uh, on top of your your cue list, hey, you heard the review here. Check it out. Uh, but but when you do, be sure to come back in the comments and let me know. But until the next review, everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you there.